Dude, the weirdest fucking thing happened to me the other day. I bet mine beat yours. Bullshit. <laughs> what was it? All right, so I'm sitting in the living room. Mm -hmm. I'm watching TV. And out of nowhere, I just hear a voice. Yeah, and, and I'm not talking like off in the distance, like outside or something. I'm saying this was in my house. Dude, that, like, that same thing happened to me the other day. Are you serious? Hell yeah, <laughs> man. Oh, hold on. Yeah, the, um, I was I was playing Skyrim, and then uh, yeah, I thought I I thought it was just some guy in the game, mm -hmm. and then he said something that definitely wasn't in the game. Dude, I don't know weird. what's going on. I thought maybe. Oh, it oh was... dude, check it out. We got a new proverb. A person who says it cannot be done should not interrupt the man doing it. Oh, this ought to be good. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Now that is perfect for today's culture. You know, I like how these proverbs are relevant no matter what time period. There is a ton of people who use the internet to just bash other people and put them down. There's so many videos of people out there doing certain things, and there's still people who will either put them down or dislike it because they're not doing it. Hit that fucking like or dislike button on YouTube. I mean, it's, it's cool if you like it. Thanks. I, I worked hard on it. But to dislike something, just stop watching the fucking video. I fucking hate that YouTube button. Especially when it's like baby's first words and the parents are all extra excited and there's like 500 dislikes. Right, it's ridiculous. Just stop watching the video. You don't have to let them know like 500 anonymous people don't like your video. Exactly! I mean, you think they give a fuck what you think about their baby? Fucking assholes! Oh, okay. Who the fuck are you? What, what do you mean, who the fuck am I? Why are you in my head? Your head? You're in my head. What do you mean? I'm. In, what do you mean I'm in your head? I'm trying to figure out this proverb in my head. So am I. Tony? Brandon? Wait, wait. That was you the other day. Well, your warrior one. What the fuck do you mean? Oh. Yeah, I was leading some friends in a yoga session, but no, no. What is wrong with your voice? What What do you mean? What's wrong with my voice? What do I mean? Dude, why is your inner voice British? Oh, oh my god, it is. You never knew your inner voice was British. Well, I've lived with it forever, so it just sounds like a voice to me. That does make sense. Dude, how, how are we talking to each other right now? I have no idea. Okay, your monk friend didn't mention any side effects from meditating? Like headaches, nausea, bloody nose, telepathic communication? I think that would have been the first thing I told you about when he gave us the first problem. So, what do we do now? Um, I think we might want to call the monk. Probably a good idea. Want to finish first? Oh yeah.